Now, getting Donald Trump to do the right thing is, as we all know, virtually impossible, right? Fortunately, Macron, he, uh, he seems to have the recipe for handling Trump. Because, you see, before Macron became president, he was an investment banker. So he's an expert in dealing with egotistical rich people. <laughs> like, for example, for example, watch how he plays along as Trump shows off his amazing president technology. President Trump gave Macron a personal tour of the Oval Office, pointing out his phone to Mrs. Macron. This is where I speak to your husband. I speak especially on this one. I'll show you. This one? That's the one. But that's supposed to be the latest and the greatest, but who knows now? This one is a secure one. That's secure. That's secure. Good system. Macron is acting the way an adult does when a kid shows them around their playroom. <laughs> He's like, wow, Donald, the phone, can you talk to people on it? He's like, uh-huh. And you remember all the numbers? Nah, -uh, General Kelly pushes them for me. <laughs> oh, and tell me, Donald, do you go potty like a big boy? Yeah, but my friends in Russia go potty on the bed. <laughs> now, it's one thing to admire Trump's phone, but the ultimate test is how you handle it when he publicly humiliates you. It's a great honor, great honor that you're here. But we do have a very special relationship. In fact, I'll get that little piece of dandruff for... <laughs> a little piece. We have to make him perfect. He is perfect. So it is really, uh, it is really great to be with you, and you are a special friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, yo, this dude... <laughs> this dude just picked something white off Macron's shoulder and then announced it to dandruff. Like, he just... Announce it as dandruff to the camera. He's like, look, look, I found a dandruff. I found it. <laughs> and credit to Macron. He just went with it. Yeah, that's diplomacy. Because if I was Macron, I would have clapped back. <laughs> he would have been like, you got dandruff. I would have been like, excuse me, I have dandruff. No, Donald, you are a human dandruff. <laughs> you are the flicks on the scalp of society. I shampoo you from my life. <laughs> but he was calm. He handled it. Perfect. In fact, every moment Macron handled perfectly, you know, whether it was giving speeches or playing outside, you could really <laughs> feel that Macron was connecting with Trump. And we all know that Trump is not the sentimental type, but clearly Macron made him feel a way that he's never, ever felt before. Human. Thank you. Thank you. I like him a lot. That's my prediction. It's only a prediction. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Look, like, I, I, know it's, I know it's a cliche, but that's a bromance. <laughs> like, that's more affection than he's ever shown Melania. <laughs> yeah, and you know she doesn't care because she knows where those hands have been, but still. <laughs> now, the big question is, will Macron's visit actually help change America's policy toward Iran? Well, maybe and maybe not. But we have definitely seen a slight change in policy in Trump's heart, yeah. Which is why we've decided to honor this beautiful relationship through the magic of le cinéma.